In this episode of In the Trenches with Dave Lapham brought to you by First Star Logistics. We catch up with, I think, the hottest coach in the National Football League, really, or one of them, Lou Anarumo. Boy, his defense is playing so well. I mean, the first two playoff games, they gave up 35 total points, 17 and a half points a game to the Raiders and the Titans. And then boy, in the first half against Kansas City, 21 points, it wasn't, really wasn't looking all that great. And then the second half, you talk about shutting them down. <sighs> Three total points. Mahomes only had 50 yards passing. Hill was shut out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're going to find out what Lou Anarumo was thinking, what he thinks of the Rams, and what he thinks about coaching in Super Bowl 56. Welcome once again to In the Trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics, as always, in our outstanding studios. And our outstanding guest in this episode is none other than Bengals defensive coordinator, Lou Anarumo. I'm toasting that game plan, Coach. I'm toasting that bad boy. <laughs> I'll tell I mean, you what. It, 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 was, it was fun. I can tell you that. After, oh, the yeah. end result was fun. The adjustments you guys made at halftime against the Kansas City Chiefs were extraordinary. T take us through kind of the crux of it. I mean, ob obviously, it's something you guys have worked on for quite a while. You just don't spring that kind of thing. But you hadn't shown a whole lot of those things all that much. And, man, you had Patrick Mahomes buffaloed. I mean, he, uh, he really wasn't quite sure what he was looking at. You made him apprehensive, to say the least. Well, I think the players did a great job of executing and uh... – you know, it was just a, uh, some of the calls that we had in the first half with some little tweaks here and there. But, uh, you know, I think overall it always comes down to the players executing. So, um, you know, um, I, was, I couldn't be happier for the way it all started. Really, it started at the end of the first half with that play by Eli. Right. Um, and then giving us some momentum, settled down and, uh, you know, started uh, doing some different things and uh, it, it worked out. I know, I know in your eyes, coach, position versatility is a big, big deal. It's kind of first and foremost, you know, Sam Hubbard, Hilton can blitz, you know, he can cover Sam Hubbard. You can use in so many different ways. Logan Wilson, you can use in so many different ways. You, you got a lot of players that give you that position versatility uh, that you're looking for, don't you? Yeah, I think it's huge. Uh, we said it all along that, you know, it just allows you to do so much more. And, uh, you know, all of our guys are kind of that way. And, um, you know, it's shown and we got one more, one more big one for it to continue. Von Bell said that uh, he couldn't wait when, earlier this week on a zoom call. He was like, you know, I, I call, I call Lou the mad scientist, you know, and he said, I, I'm just, I'm just waiting to see what he's putting together. And that's, that's what I, I I'm, I'm picturing you in a laboratory coach, you know, you got the little, they get the little, this little of that putting together some kind of unbelievable formula um, with the extra week. Is it, is it almost like, you don't want to like overthink things, but you do have time to to modify and add a little bit. What what what's the process for you as a coach when you have two weeks uh, to work on a Super Bowl? Well, first and foremost, we have a great staff. It's certainly not me. Uh, it's a combination of guys, and uh, we do a great job together. And uh, um, you know, um, so you know, we we all work together well, and then the players executing. It always comes down to that, but. Um, well, I love Vaughn, I, you know, it's, uh, we, we try to keep the offenses off, off base and, uh, uh, try to play them, make them play left-handed and that's, and that's, uh, our goal every week. But, um, you know, in terms of this week, I think it's important that, uh, we don't overdo it with, uh, too much from a scheme standpoint. I think you can, you know, uh, talk to a lot of guys that have played in this game and that's their message is. Uh, be careful that you don't do too much. And, uh, you know, we got our normal stuff in. We treated the game – we treated this week like we were playing um, today. So, um, you know, we got we got most everything done, just a couple things to tweak out there next week and kind of polish it up. But uh, the vast majority of the game plan is in. So you've got even your situational stuff, uh, you know, red zone, goal line, short yardage, all that stuff's uh, yeah. pretty much in? Yeah, everything's done, yeah. I'll tell you, coach, you know, it, it, some of the some of the things from a situational standpoint showed up again. I mean, you know, red zone, 
uh, making stops, making stops in the red zone, third down. Uh, it, it's just th- things that you've worked on. Sudden change, you know, when the offense turns it over, you guys doing uh, doing your thing that you've done all season long. It's like it, it, it built during the season in the playoffs. Man, it paid dividends for you, didn't it? Oh, huge. I mean, our, I think we're plus nine or something since, uh, um, I don't know, the, maybe the first Chiefs game, um, yeah. you know, and, and uh, it's, it's, it just shows you how important that is and, and how um, it can turn games and turn seasons, really. And we've been fortunate that all that work has paid off and the guys have, uh, the guys have done a terrific job. Coach, you, in three playoff games, you have six interceptions by six different players. That's big. I mean, you, you, you got them coming from everywhere. You got them coming from corners, from safeties, from defensive linemen, uh, linebackers. I mean, it, every position group joining the party. I mean, how, how rewarding is that? Well, it's great. You know, that, uh, as you mentioned, like, you know, BJ's was so, so huge. And, uh, um, you know, later in the game, Jesse and Vaughn working together last week and you go back to, you know, Eli's play at the end of the, Titans game, knocking it to Logan and Jesse to start the game. I mean, just one after the other. So, um, you know, we're going to need those things uh, next Sunday for sure. Um, those guys uh, uh, will have to step up and make plays like that again. And when we have no reason to think that they won't. You know, you're playing against the team. Let's talk. Let's foreshadow the Rams a little bit. I, I know you've, you've done a little bit of a dive because you a lot of your game plan is in, but uh, I know you can do a deeper dive into what they do and tendencies they have and all that sort of thing. But it's, you know, they were good at quarterback with Goff, but they decided they wanted to try to be great at quarterback. And Stafford had asked for a trade from Detroit. They granted it. And uh, and McVay was more than uh, more than um, willing to, to, to be a, a trade partner. What about Stafford? This guy has some arm talent. He can make every, every throw, can he? Oh, no doubt. Um, you know, he uh... – He's got a really, you know, coming off of Patrick Mahomes, and who's got the strongest arm, I think, and Aaron right. Rodgers, guys like that. But this guy's not far behind. He's, you know, he's been in the league forever. He's seen it all. Um, you know, he 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 tries to fit it in the tight windows, and uh, uh, but he's a terrific player. We have the great respect for him, and and uh, Coach McVay does a great job. So, as I say always, every week it's the NFL, and uh, it'll be a great challenge. Well. There's a reason why they're in the Super Bowl, and um, you know this this will be no different this week with the weapons that they have with Cooper Cup and Odell and the running back, and um, you know we'll see where where Higby's at from a injury standpoint. But they are a talented group, and uh, they're they're kind of clicking right now. Cooper Cup, I mean, over 140 catches, almost 2,000 yards, you know, 16 touchdowns, whatever. The triple Crown winner, you know, he led the NFL in all categories. The thing that I respect about him most, though. I don't think I've ever seen the dude run out of bounds. I mean, he's trying to make people – he's trying to score every time he catches the football, isn't he? Yeah, well, Zach said that about him. He said, listen, don't don't think you're just going to shove him out of bounds. Uh, he's kind of like Andrews at uh, Baltimore in in the sense of uh, they think – or Kittle, any of these great guys, they think that when they catch it, they're going to score on every play. And Cooper Cup is no different. Um, he has that mindset. He is not going out of bounds. Um, so he's going to cut back and try to get, uh, extra yards and, um, you know, our guys are aware of it and, you know, we got to do a great job tackling and getting around them. That's for sure. And you mentioned OBJ, he seems to be, you know, settling in and, you know, the one vision I have of him is the backward pass to him and him throwing it down the football field for a big, you know, a big, uh, advancement, a gadget play gimmick play. They're, they're capable of a lot of things. They're, they're very diverse at that receiver position, aren't they? They are uh, Van Jefferson. Uh, I work with his dad, Sean, at Miami. Oh yeah, um, I know what Sean is all about uh, and how he uh, he's. You know, I'm sure, quite sure, Van's been catching routes since he could walk. So uh, <laughs> there's not there's not much that Sean uh, Van's not going to know, and he's he's really a heck of a player. Um, so they're 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 a, a capable group of receivers. These running backs are tough, and uh, you know. Um, so we'll see. So. Uh, the two tackles. We're, we're six, seven, three hundred thirty pounds. We know know all about him. Uh, Havenstein is uh, six, eight, three hundred thirty pounds. I mean, they got man mountain deans on both uh, both ends of the line of scrimmage. Uh, how good is that offensive line? Is it pretty efficient, Coach? I mean, are they uh, equally effective in run blocking and pass protection? 
I think so. Yeah, they, they really work well together in their in their zone scheme that they have. Uh, you know, they're keeping Stafford upright, and like you said, it's they're big across the board. And uh, but you know, we've we faced uh, um, a, a bunch of really good old lines uh, lately, uh, and these guys are no different. These guys are super talented. Let me get you out of here on this coach, and and certainly do appreciate you uh, giving no, no up problem. the time you have with with what's going on. Crazy, I mean, Super Bowl 56 on the horizon, oh, Coach. It's, it's all good stuff. All it, good. It, it is all good stuff. My question is, when did you know? Was there a game that you can point to or or something that you can point to where you thought, wow, you know, we are pretty good. I mean, this team's got something cooking here. I mean, it, this team could be special. Was there anything that comes to mind that way? I mean, I'll go all the way back to uh, Baltimore, first one. Yep. And, uh, you know, to go in there and do that, to that team, um, you know, I knew we were capable capable of having uh, great success, and uh, it was just a matter of going to be being able to stay healthy and be consistent. And uh, you know, here we are, you know, a week away from playing in the Super Bowl. I agree, Coach. To give John Harbaugh the worst beating he's had in Baltimore in his coaching career, there <sighs> saying something. I mean, congratulations on on. Uh, Getting to the Super Bowl, it's it's not an easy thing to do. It's not easy to win games in the National Football League. Winning any game is tough. Yes. Getting to the Super Bowl is huge. And winning a coach, whew, that would be unreal. Yeah, it would be. It's our goal for sure. And uh, we're, we're super excited. I you know, can't wait to get out there and, uh, you know, for it to be game day and enjoy this whole thing. But, you know, we're not going out there to enjoy the sun. We're going out there to win. I hear that, Coach. I, th I thought Zach made a great point. You know, this guy's kind of curbed us up. We want to celebrate forever after you win the championship put on that ring. It's a, it's a lifetime celebration then. 100%. They can never take it away from you. So um, we're, we're, that's our goal. That's our focus. Coach, I know you put together a great one. And uh, if we don't – I know you're, you're traveling out there shortly. If we don't talk before the Super Bowl, have the best game you've ever had, sir. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks, Lap. Appreciate it, as you always. At First Star Logistics, we're a very strict company that really puts the pressure on our employees. Brakes? What are those? That's what I'm talking about, Icky. Get the body right, then the mind's right. You know, yeah. you know, you gotta get that body right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Become a star with a chance to earn the highest commission percentages in the industry as a freight broker agent. Check out FirstStarLogistics.com.